Folks, this is Kim here. As I mentioned, I'd just like to show you how to use each piece of equipment correctly. Um, there are various ways of using it in terms of either muscle building or circuit training, and I'll post some of those details in the comments below. I see a lot of people using this equipment incorrectly and not getting um, the maximum benefit. So a brief explanation of each piece of equipment. Here we go. We're going to start with the inclined chest press first. This works the upper part of the chest and also the front part of the shoulders. So the idea is to get yourself nice and comfortable. You can adjust the seat either up or down. When you're seated on it, the handle should be uh, a little bit higher than the shoulders. So this is the perfect position for me. Select the weight that you're able to lift for eight to 12 repetitions. Even grip on the handle. We're not locking the arms out three-quarter movement, so you've got a little bend in your elbows down, and neither do you let the weights go all the way down. Squeezing the chest together as you're bringing the weight up, slowly down, slowly up, don't forget to breathe. Everything is done in a slow, controlled manner, and that way you're keeping the tension on the actual muscle group that you're working. On the next machine, we're going into the seated row. Okay, this, this particular machine works all the big muscle groups in the back. Again, adjusting the seat. So when you're actually sitting on the machine, this is a little bit low for me. I'm going to go up a little bit higher. So the top of the, uh, the, top of the rest here is about level with my sternum extending out so the tips of the fingers can just grab the handles. You can use either this type of grip or that type of grip. Nice slow movement, squeezing the shoulder blades together, letting the weights go all the way forward. Now do you notice that I'm not either leaning forward or throwing my weight back. It's a slow controlled movement all the way forward and as I'm coming back I'm squeezing my shoulder blades together. So this is known as the seated row machine and it works all the big muscle groups in the back. Okay, we're going around to the assisted chin-up machine. Now using this machine means that I'm either lifting part or all of my body weight. Chin-ups are a fantastic exercise for the whole of the uh, upper body. Very, very good for a strength workout. What I'm going to do here, I weigh approximately 80 kilos, I'm going to put the weight in, the pin in at about 40 kilos there, which means I'm lifting approximately half of my own body weight. Getting up on the machine nice and slow, feet evenly spaced on the footrest, take everything slow when you use this machine. You can use either this type of grip here, or this type, I favour this type of grip. Put one knee on the pad, Letting yourself down slowly, making sure that you've got a good firm grip all the way down and coming up, squeezing the shoulder blades together just to the top of the ears, all the way down and all the way up. Again, it's a nice slow controlled movement. Getting off, one foot firmly on the foot rest, letting the weights come down slowly, hand on the bar and again going down nice and slow. So, this is the assisted chin-up machine, fantastic workout to build strength in the upper body. Eventually as you get stronger, you can take the pin all the way uh, out, put a, a weight on here and use your entire body weight to actually lift yourself up. When you first start out, this machine just means that you're lifting part of your body weight instead of all of it. Our next machine is the seated lat pull down. Again, this is another exercise for the uh, upper back and uh, the back muscle is a lot easier to use than the assisted chin up machine. So I like to make sure that the seat is all the way down. These little donuts here are approximately half of what the plates are. So again, we're putting the, the pin in at a, uh, a weight that we can use for approximately eight to 12 repetitions. So, Grabbing hold of the handles, making sure that the hands are evenly spaced, sitting down, and you're getting a nice stretch again, down to the top of the ears, all the way up, and all the way down. It's a nice slow controlled movement, it's not a partial movement like this, and we're not leaning back. Keeping the back nice and straight, squeezing the shoulder blades together, 
all the way up, all the way down to the top of the unit. Alright, the next machine that we're going on to is the single <coughs> shoulder press. This particular machine works the deltoids or the shoulder muscles, the big muscles there. Again, approximately shoulders about the width of my fist, just below the handle, so this is perfect. I was just using this machine a minute ago. A weight that we can use for <coughs> 8 to 12 repetitions. Hands evenly spaced. Nice upright body. Three quarter movement up and down. Approximately 90 <coughs> Again, you're squeezing into the group of muscles that you're working up and down. Nice and slow, so it's a slow control movement. Next machine is the chest press. This works the muscles across here, the pectoral muscles or the chest muscles. So with this one here, the width of the fist just below the upright there, that's about the perfect position for me. Now so we're not taking our elbows back behind our shoulders, the idea with this one here, just put the pin in, one foot on here, this brings the handles forward so we're not straining our shoulders, pushing it forward, holding the handles, making sure that your grip is even, holding it into position while you're letting the bar come back. Three quarter movement out. Again, you notice that I'm not locking my arms out and putting the stress on the joints. Approximately 90 degrees, not letting the elbows go back behind the shoulders. Squeezing the chest muscles together as you extend the handles. Nice and slow forward, nice and slow back. When you're using all of these machines, you're making the muscle group do the work, not gravity or momentum by either throwing yourself forward or throwing yourself back. So again, it's a nice slow controlled movement. The final machine in the circuit training area is the seated leg press. This works the big muscle groups of the legs or the quadriceps. We're getting a nice comfortable position, lifting the pin and adjusting the slide so the legs are at approximately a 90 degree angle, making sure that the, the pin is firmly in. Keep the core active, the tummy muscles active. Hands on here. Now, the feet position here means different groups of the muscles are working, so you can try it with your feet turned out, with your feet lower down. I prefer my toes pointed slightly outwards and just over the top of the footrest. So pushing out, again, not locking out, coming back, and squeezing into the group of muscles that you're working. Slowly forward slowly back. As you can see here, I'm just going to go in a little bit further. And the reason for that is I'd like to get a fuller extension of my legs there. I was just a little bit far out. So going out, forward, and back. Now if you'd like a, a further explanation of how these machines work, I do have a DVD that we're happy to pass on to our members that goes into um, a lot more detail. In the comments section below I'll be posting um, how to use the machines in either a circuit training format or a muscle building format. And again if you'd like your program, a program made out for you, don't hesitate to see any of our reception staff. Thanks again. Thanks Trish. You can